Welcome back to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Coming up, Apple gets an executive shakeup. Google debuts its new lineup of Nexus devices. Hurricane Sandy knocks out the Huffington Post. Pandora revamps its mobile streaming app. And Toyota is named most reliable brand. Google may have canceled its New York press event due to Hurricane Sandy, but that didn't stop the technology giant from unveiling the goods. In a blog post yesterday, Google debuted its new lineup of Nexus gadgets, which includes a super high-resolution Nexus 10 tablet, a new version of the Nexus 7 with 32 gigabytes of storage and cellular connectivity, and the all-new Nexus 4 smartphone. All three Nexus devices will run on the new Android 4.2 Jelly Bean operating system and will go on sale mid-November. In the first big management shakeup since CEO Tim Cook took over the reins of Apple a year ago, Apple has announced the head of its iOS and retail store divisions would be leaving the company. Scott Forsall, which many pegged as a future CEO of Apple, has left his position as head of iOS without explanation. Some suspect the failure of Apple Maps caused his departure. Similarly, John Browett, who joined Apple in January from the British electronics retailer Dixons, is leaving, again for unclear reasons. Head designer Joni Ive and other top executives are all taking on new responsibilities after the departures. Hurricane Sandy took its toll on Monday, knocking out power to more than 7 million people and causing massive damage up the East Coast. Flooded data centers shut down a number of major websites, including BuzzFeed, the New York Daily News, and the Huffington Post. The Weather Channel website, on the other hand, saw its best traffic day ever, with more than 200 million page views in a single day. Streaming music service Pandora rolled out a major overhaul of its mobile app Monday, giving users new ways to create custom stations and allowing for easy song purchases through iTunes. Pandora version 4.0 also beefed up the service's social sharing options, giving users the ability to quickly share which track they're listening to through Facebook and Twitter. The revamped Pandora comes amid increasing competitive pressure from Spotify and a potential new streaming service from Apple. It's a good day to be Toyota. The Japanese carmaker's three brands, Toyota, Lexus, and Scion, came in first in Consumer Reports Reliability Survey. Mazda, Subaru, and Honda all ranked well, coming in just after Toyota's brands. Ford, once the top U.S.-made car in the annual survey, dropped significantly, with 60% of Ford models scoring below average, landing Ford on the list of one of the least reliable car brands on the market. That does it for this edition of DT Daily. Check back with Digital Trends later today for our review of Assassin's Creed 3, one of the most anticipated games of the season and one that doesn't disappoint.